So this is how I am going to be looking at you that you don't know your name of your drug that you always take every time. Come on. Ah, ah. All wrong now. All wrong. Hello everyone. Welcome to today's class because we are going to be doing some pronunciation. You have to know your drugs. For your pharmacist and even for your safety and for your health. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah. I'm on my white coat today because what we're saying today, all serious, go all lag barrafo. Let me even quickly say one G. So there was a day, and this person came to the pharmacy, pharmacy, and was like, "I want to buy loop olamide." And I'm like, "Loop olamide." Remember, I'm like, is that a new drug that they just released? Is it somebody that just like, did you just create that new drug? I'm not aware of. Or like, <laughs> then we later got to realize that it was trying to pronounce loperamide. Like, really, lopolamide, really. Okay, so we're going to be pronouncing with me because we have to get this right. We really have to get this right. There are cases whereby some people have been given wrong drugs they've been you know because of these mistakes and inability to know the kind of drugs and know how to pronounce your drug or even identify your drugs you're taking so number one on the list for tails taking routine drugs like for hypertension am lo di pain so you can read my lips am lo di pain you're taking lisinopril li si no pril li si no pril some people like to say like no pril but any which way li si no pril 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 some people taking diabetic drugs like met for mean met for mean met for mean then Omeprazole. It is an anti ulcer drug. Omeprazole. Then we have Lozatan. Some people come and say Lexotan. Some people call Lozatan different names. It's Lozatan. 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 It's also an antihypertensive. Drug. Yeah. So we have many, many, many other drugs that some people do not know how to pronounce. You can drop them in the comment section. <laughs> let's discuss and let's have a gist come and gist me on the different experiences that you've had as a pharmacist as a doctor as a medical personnel so that we can also help our patients pronounce this drug and also be familiar with these drugs over time so this might be like a part a because we have other parts still coming because we have to address this issue even beyond knowing how to pronounce your drugs you should also know the strength in which you're taking so for example amlodipine which is an antihypertensive drug comes in five milligram ten milligram so you should be aware of the strength of the drug you're taking so that you don't go to the pharmacy in trying to refuel your medications get the wrong strength which can do more harm than the good that you want them to do for you so guys if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to also drop your comment in the comment section below don't forget to like and subscribe don't forget to share of course i'm still coming back to your screen on top of this same matter